Hey yo, what up, what up? It's the O to the G. It's your boy Nabio. This is AKA. And it's your boy Steph Capella. It's the phenomenal woman. Yo, big up Ruby on the Kingship. 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 Kingship podcast with Ruby V. What's happening? The Kingship podcast. <laughs> Welcome to yet another episode. This is season two of the Clock In series. And of course, finally, I am happy to have this conversation with someone who has like literally made us wait with bated breath for his album. And then the album drops and he says it's the dopest album out of the 254 right about now. What's good, K Force? Team doing high five. This is how we're doing it. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's good yeah. though? Chilling, chilling. How you yeah. been? I've been okay. Can't yeah. complain. Yeah. I was just with you last week for Kikwetu Festival. How was that whole experience for you? Not bad, not bad. Yeah. A unique experience. First drive in show. Yeah, man. It was crazy. Yeah, man. Second week, yeah. That's the only reason to be quiet. Because like, yo, we miss outside enjoyment and all that shit. Yeah, man. So finally the album drops. Yeah, man. Yo, how you feeling about it? How you feeling about the reception so far? Reception seen by Yeah. Uh, not mixed reactions, but seem to be expected. Yeah. Yeah, such is life. Wait, so so wait, mixed reactions like that. Some people were saying that the album is not popping. It's not due to my pockets, no numbers out. But my opinion now, because most of the fans when they wanna fuck my K force. Yeah. They fuck with it so yeah. And that's all that matters, man. Yeah. Yeah. So before we even get into this um album, when I was getting into the game, first time I was getting into the game was like twenty fourteen. And the one thing that I would consistently hear is K Force has been dropping mixtape and mixtape and mixtape. And where the album at? Why did it take you this long to actually drop an official album? Mm, it's because it wasn't necessary. Because all these albums that guys have been dropping ago. And like, was there a skeezy? They're not on the scene. Uh, uh, okay. Because I'm trying to drop an album and then next week niggas is like... There's a no music. No, no. Yeah. So, I didn't feel the need mm. to drop an album because I was... I, I think I was even selling more mixtapes than some guys who were dropping albums. Mm. And my albums were more fire, still are, mm. than all those albums. Mm. The mixtapes. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, like all those mixtapes, Zangumi fire, because his albums are there. And I just felt comfortable recording Bila Pressure or say to me and be a home and say this is what you're supposed to be doing and say no for kuna for your album and for kuna for your name. And you're at me, at me, I'm going to pay you again. Yeah. Who is the manager? Yeah. I'm asking you to say, I'm an artist manager. What am I going to do? What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? You can't manage art. Art is like, it's like a tsunami. You know, at a jenge. What kind of levees and barriers and, and like still art, if it wants that. to break through, it will break through mm-hmm. whether you try to manage it or not. Yeah. And but so I just didn't like the pressure. You know, say, man, see, for do album and then when I do album. And it's and not then, selling. Yeah. Uh, and then when I do a, a lot of money goes into this yeah. thing that we do, man. So yeah. I just didn't want to. Then when I do miss a sponsor. Mm. No, no. See now, like everything I do has to come from my pocket. See now, I'm zoomed. Yeah. Like, it's quite a big deal. Like, it's quite a slippery slope. Like, you know, mm. Kefus mm. is 4x4. Like, you know, 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 like, Mm. Still are. Mm. Uh, a lot of people who are idol. Uh, a lot of artists who are going to be alive. Or if you Corona, it will last for two months. Damn. <laughs> so, what's it? What's it? Pretty much, I'm going to do everything. everything. Yeah. 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 
and then sasa umekuwa stagnant manze sasa mimi nikafikiria ni aje yo this is a lot of hip hop fans out here especially wase wenye unasikiza you know that urban hip hop mm-hmm. na wameja wengi wana yearn for content calligraph to na joke na wimbo hapo mm-hmm. hivyo zenye you get so nearly feel too like ni aje is 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 like a gap yani yeah, plus it was an opportunity to you know flex in another way mm. when you get for some main is or be different but it was just a way to expose the other commercial differently how like mixtape or eh hey, no not even mixtape mm-hmm. like for some main is or on a particular type of beats okay so it was a way for me to explore the other side when you get mm. your side ingine yenye ajan zoya when you feel now of course mean dog man say i don't need to go to the ngala but do that kwa dog see it in me but yeah. ilikuwa tu a way ya ku reconnect with my commercial side and majority ever since tukiwa kwa kfos the group yeah. we never made no hardcore shit mm. ever mm. uh, tuko why do hardcore rap tuko why do be conscious rap can you record na do tuko tu na do real rap mm. and you know real rap ni can you na feel mm. that's what's real with you mm-hmm. when you get na sisi sipi kwa like young homies when you want to come tani tulikuwa tu like to have fun mm. the best way we know how mm. we didn't know how guys in runda have fun but we knew how to have fun from the way. like pali penye tulikuwa tumetoka mm. so hiyo ndio ilikuwa roots yeah 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 the type of music and the type of style that i try to portray when you brought us so i don't know where guys got the notion that niaje yo manzi hardcore toy penda I've never been hardcore mm. ever me all I've ever been is just a real rapper so the versatility is what traps people sometimes the wrong way because mm. I mean zoya hivi alafu sayana nisikiza hivi eh alafu kuna mafala wako stuck in the past pia mm. you get ako too like ni wajumanzi kama si sijui nani manzi si rap manzi them niggas manzi can eat a whole sack of you know what <laughs> 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 so, I get that. Eh, kuna people who are stuck in the past, but me I'm a versatile artist man. Utasikia nimefanya si ile siku utasikia nimefanya song na Chameleon, so uta catch feelings because mm. that's not what you're used to. Then get so if your girlfriend changes his hairstyle, her, her, her hairstyle mm. unakasirika naye. Hata kukatsia mpaka uachane naye. Cuz she don't dress the way she was dressing last Before. year. Mm. Manze, e world ni dynamic manze, iko prone to change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so when they get with the times, man, they adapt or fucking die. <laughs> do 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 you think that's one of the problems with with Kenyan rap or hip hop? That's one of the things like Gingetun has come through and become a whole wave and we're still out here like still like oh Kenyan hip hop yeah. like do you think do you think that people saying yo come as you go flani mau mau ain't no Kenyan rap ain't no Kenyan hip hop I'm a I, I think mm. uh the bigger problem is mm. it, it, the bigger problem is not people's opinion mm-hmm. the bigger problem is the outlook when you get mm-hmm. like how we view ourselves first of all okay when you get mm-hmm. as artists yeah, or or just yeah. the culture no, as artists as, as the culture okay. no as okay. as the culture the whole thing uh, when mm-hmm. you get from from the DJs to the artists graffiti the, dancers uh, unaona venye 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 unajibeba ndio venye wasa watakubeba na nipata acha tena nitumie analogy ya mademo na ni get wewe uja wai enda to a party mm. alafu unataka the most beat up chick <laughs> she enda kwa bash and then like even you like a, a, as a lady mm. like if you, you walk in a room like, if, if, the... if you mm. walk in, in a room full of niggas you will not be interested in the ruffian yeah. when you get even if the ruffian has some qualities that you may like yeah. first impressions yeah. first manze yeah. utakuwa attracted to kenye iko visually appealing mm-hmm. aesthetics iko mm-hmm. on point yeah. Yeah. so venye unaji beba ndo venye wasa atakubeba when you feel so our rap fans we need to introduce them to a new side of us mm-hmm. a side that is a bit more commercially viable huko si america mm-hmm. America you can be underground <coughs> and get mm. you can be hardcore mm. and you still have your 100 million fans. Unaweza mm. kwako watu uko na your 20 million you fans. Yeah, you will still get paid. Yeah. Man get. Yeah. But manze room ya hardcore 
or underground rap huko hivi Africa tu kusema kweli manze is 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 this is a very very like tough battle mm. that you may not win mm. you get Emai is one of the illest rappers but Emai make uh, what's that afro pop music so zingine na msikia nga on them things mm. i spin spin in kali but me msikia on them things he hasn't rapped in a minute actually <laughs> like yeah uh, okay but wacha tuende tuache kwenda mbali let's just look like kapa tu karibu mm. you guys don't know how much fire the rasa is man mm. let me get mm. you don't know he is absolute fire on the mic let me get but any time that he's trying to get paid and 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 trying to improve his image mm. that's not the side that he shows the side that he shows is the side that's a bit more commercially viable and by this i mean mm. just ni beats to utakufa uki uki fuck na beats zenye wase wana fuck nazo you get ni content yako si ni ile ile tu chota ruby hata uve the shortest skirt hata unyoe kwa bold kalupira underneath you still ruby yeah when you get yeah. it's just that you want to 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 unajua wana sema ngaje like my mom used to tell me mm-hmm. like think as you like but behave like everyone else when you get mm-hmm. like what's in your head that's your core principles man say maintain that mm-hmm. but you have to behave like everyone else cuz not everyone subscribes to what you do when you get so i might love kitu flani but mm. wase wana like kitu flani more when mm. you get so i won't sacrifice who i am just cuz so that people can like me mm. i'm just saying i'll not make it difficult for them to like me it's like <laughs> it's like mm, you can't you can't fight the system from outside the system yeah, you got to get, get in there yeah. and then any, now exactly figure any, it out from any time any time you're fighting from outside you, you're just a heckler Anna is like you salty is yeah, like what's yeah. wrong with this okay. one yeah for to kill inje afadali afadali you 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 build your own like you 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 build your own narrative design yeah. yenyewe wewe ndo unajua the most na wale wase wenye wako interested in knowing the most they'll inquire mm. nipata, but you have to behave like everyone yeah I, i'd say i'd say like direct example of that would be like what i can like kendrick and cole did exactly. they did that whole run of doing that commercial shit and yeah. and like l- later on you listen to them to they're like core. yeah he's yeah. like i didn't want to make that kind of music but when i got mm-hmm. to the point that i could make it i started making that music but you he played the game exactly so yeah. here's the thing like rick cross is a dope rapper too when he get mm-hmm. But he knows where his bread is buttered, man. When you get, mm. he can do all that hardcore. When you get, he he can do all that street shit. Mm. But ana joma di mkate yake ina kwa buttered. Mm. When you feel so, when you see guys doing what you don't, no, no. When you see guys doing things the way you don't expect them to do them, mm. just be accommodative, kiasi man. Zero square. <laughs> usko eh usko eh usko eh usko eh harsh don't be harsh don't be harsh because harsh never built nothing man yeah no yeah. like jomakini became the artist that he is today the moment he rebranded himself when you get you i, I may sit down and say some money aji man say ah man say usi ule joni kwa na like man say ama usi ule joni kwa but at the end of the day right now his following is like 10 ten, tenfold ya time yenye kwa naanza same to darasa when you get mm. eh wasi wengi wa jonge christoph ni mdogo yo don't even talk about christoph is, is 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 a fire mc when you get that one i stand yeah, by yeah but at the end of the day he got to get paid too <laughs> so <laughs> like get, does that mean yeah. does that mean that like Hip hop is just not popular enough to make sure that people actually get paid enough. Exactly. And when you get like the the commercial viability of hardcore rap in sub-Saharan Africa is 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 depressing for for we, lack of for lack of a fix, better phrase. How do we fix that though? Like how how do we change the conversation? Cuz you see like let's say I was I was asking someone was like oh gangton got its first endorsement like first commercial thing right 
and then I was like, but how is Gingaton popping off before Shrap did? It's literally almost the same thing, but Shrap is on trap beats and Gingaton is on that kapuka ish, dancehall ish okay. type thing. Is it like a bias? Because you can understand it's, Shrap or Sheng or whatever. It's, 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 it's not a bias, mm. it's, it's, it's an African thing. African. Mm. As much as the music, as much as we subscribe to the hip hop culture, and, and we love it. Yeah. There has to be a local application for that shit. Mm-hmm. You get so mm-hmm. in Africa, mm-hmm. the number one thing about African music in a company is dance. Okay. And you get. Yeah. So at the end of the day, as long as you're doing whatever you're doing from right here, it has to resonate with the culture. Yeah, right here. Mm-hmm. So when you do uh, places like South Africa, you place plenty you could diverse sana yeah. like, cultures being is na mix so mm. so kuna dilution kiasi when you get mm-hmm. so that approach to the music can work mm-hmm. because there's quite a large demographic in a, can i say enlightened mm. when you get mm-hmm. yeah, let me just say that na, they're with the times yeah they're with the times yeah but sasa apa hivi most people like for instance in Kenya they rely on mainstream media for mm. entertainment and mm-hmm. information. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. So, you know, mainstream media, gonna, the word mainstream in it. Let me get. So, mm-hmm. if anything is not commercially viable, and in Africa, the only thing that's. Let's be honest, man. Say, mm-hmm. The only thing that's commercially viable in Africa right now, not the only, but the most mm-hmm. commercially viable type of music in Africa. Is music that has some African ring to it. Yes, like Afro pop type uh, shit. Let me get. Yeah. So, you know, I say, well, well, Gingeton, you know, they are dancehall thing. Because that's just dancehall music. Yeah. Let me get. You know, you're dancehall, you're shang. So, you know, I say, well, Gingeton, you know, you're dancehall. Now, the kids are gravitating towards it. Na fa ujulize tuko high school tuko na love to okay honestly man. listen i was just i was saying <laughs> i was saying but then you can say ma i think the only reason i don't listen to gangetune is cuz like i'm above it like i'm older than that yeah. but i know if i was in high school I'd fuck with that I, shit one time man we need to make what me need to say go eh me don't need to say all them say belt buckle it exactly man yeah, yeah. so like i was saying yeah there's no bias mm. it's just a cultural thing manipata and then in kenya like up at the home man say we have to speak the facts man say mm-hmm. mainstream media is is not really like doing their job mm-hmm. when you get mm-hmm. it's normally their job to discover to break. Uh, discover yeah. all these yeah. new acts manipata yeah. Ah, uh, say when I go jump to here, get on 10 YouTube, million yeah. views mm-hmm. by himself mm-hmm. for himself. Mm-hmm. Allah fundo. They're like, oh, he like, go, man, go like hey, on the hey, block, this yeah. is now the Kenyan sound. Yeah, get. Yeah. It's not fair to them because I kind of feel like they get used. That's leeching, like get, literally. Uh, yeah. yeah, as in, I, I kind of feel like in the process you devalue Kenya when I do when I get mm-hmm. because. If you held a hand from the jump, the beginning, when you get from yeah. the jump till now, it it would it 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 would probably make much more financial sense because growing up, man, say me if I knew then when I was nineteen or twenty, what I know now, mm. it would make a huge difference, yeah. When you get, it mm. would make a huge difference if Calligraph knew what he knew. When he like, was starting like, out like if he knew right what he knows right now when he was starting out it, it would make a like ingekuwa like ingekuwa to something else when he get ingekuwa to something else when he get so the problem is that we don't mentor nothing yeah uh, we always just want to jump on things for clout nobody's taking get, risks uh, no one yeah. no one no one ever risks is investing get, no one uh, and you know what yeah. that the thing is mtu atakwambia unajoniaje unajua manje you have to 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 prove your values do you go na na views you know don't yesha iko uko na values do you go na followers but here's the thing eh? mm-hmm. values ndo i thought can you create to say because you cannot have value 
if your values are fucked up. Mm. <laughs> get. Mm. So see, you mentor this guy. Make go in the direction that you want them to go. Kuliko 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 ushinda hapo unasema ah manzezi hizi ngoma taki kucheza ni vulgar. Come on bana which adolescent is not vulgar. That's what the kids do. Hata hivyo ndo sisi tuliko anga tukiwa young when you get even when it comes to hip hop. Most of the older guys who are us. Okay I'm not the older guys but the older yeah, the pioneers yeah, yeah. Uh, okay miss if you get it but mm. I, I kind of feel like the, these guys have influenced these guys have mentored mm. and get definitely yeah. so what you mean yeah, yeah. so here's the thing mm-hmm. even us in hip hop mm-hmm. were supposed to do the same yeah no no but I love shinda mna sema manze this is not rap this is more rap than that mm-hmm. this is more hip hop than that mm-hmm. one instead of instead of saying like kila saa tu tunakonga always trying to classify always yeah. trying to criticize and break shit down this is the real hip hop and that uh, is real hip hop really you see yeah. like, but here's the thing man say mnajifanya ma hip hop head na mimi nimeona ngoma ya naz na favio foreign no ni get i've seen it mm-hmm. it's even on youtube check mm-hmm. it out yeah. you get so I, it's art man say i don't know what the fuck is people's problems yeah. man say it's art I it evolves. Somebody said um hip hop guys are very possessive. Like if you start as a hip hop person, they own you forever. So if you switch up a little bit it's like hey, I'm to it true like Man, fuck that you... person but yeah. come back on any. Yeah. I mean if, no, let's, like let's, that's the let's, problem let's with hip hop. Let's do let's do like 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 simple math. Mm-hmm. Non pata. Mm-hmm. If I have two guys mm-hmm. who are fucking with me. Mm-hmm. Like with my old shit na ni get mm-hmm. atumelewa na art ni evolution like exactly. it evolves ndio so you have to adapt mm-hmm. so when i adapt to a new sound mm-hmm. and then i acquire a hundred more fans mm-hmm. from the new sound that i have mm-hmm. i've not even compromised my content mm-hmm. keep that in mind i just compromise their beats when if me or tundo the only thing in the change just the beats mm-hmm. so if i acquire a hundred or a thousand more guys with the new sound which hasn't been compromised it's not the content that's changed it's just the vibe that's changed mm. you know get mm. so if i can acquire more guys with the new sound why the fuck not why sh- why, why should that make you feel like you 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 compromising your core you're not mm. you're not you're I just an you. artist and versatility is strength man say versatility yes. is not a weakness yeah. versatility is not something to be scuffed upon and, and, and shrugged upon when you get mm. versatility is something that you're supposed to embrace man say mm. when you feel yeah sakodi man say nani huo mhadko huko Kenya mwenye ni mkali kuliko sakodi mmoja niambie jina yake man say please i'm here i hear what you say you work on radio tell me who's who's saying. doper than sakodi saying in Kenyan underground rap. Nambi, nani nani ni msik kuliko Sakodi. Hakuna mm. mtu mmoja. But here's the thing. Mimi hata nisikie Sakodi on how many commercial tracks. I still love what he does, man, and I appreciate it because mm. I take time to appreciate the artistry plus the kuna kusikiza. Kuna kusikiza usisikie tu beats alafu utoke useme ah ziba na. Beats are not lyrics, man. Ama ni aje. Yeah. Mimi na la vile song ya mjente mbaya manze. Juu hiyo beat manze inakonga. Inakonga, inakonga wapo. I love that mjente song cuz cuz the vibe is right. Yeah. Right? But so it's just the beats manze. So as long as kuna song ya Fabio na Nas aguna mm. tuna show. Let me ask you something like in a bag like any. It's so good that bag like any. Yeah, so so let me ask you um because yeah. we've, we've been talking a lot about underground and mainstream music. Yeah. What's what's the difference between underground rap and mainstream rap? Cuz Nilona mse akiuliza online and I honestly I don't feel like we Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. There's there's no underground rap. That's when what I was going to say. I was I there's was going to say underground music. I was going to say There's underground music, mm-hmm. but there's no underground rap. Well, what's the difference? Underground music exists uh, in in a space in yeah. Mhm. Bado who you say haja make it to the mainstream for some particular reason mm-hmm. which we don't know. Mm-hmm. When you get. Mm-hmm. You could be commercial as fuck, but you're still underground. When you get. Wait. 
break that down for Let me, me break it down yeah. for you. Let me get to mm-hmm. it. Boutros makes the most commercial hip hop. Mm-hmm. But he is an underground artist. Let me get to it. I mean, he's bubbling under, yeah, right? Like yeah, he's putting in the yeah, years exactly. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jovi mm-hmm. and I make some commercial shit, mm-hmm. but name underground. Ni se menani mgeni Silverstone. Mm-hmm. Very commercial music, but it's underground. But 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 it's like it's just that mm-hmm. it hasn't gotten the attention that it, it deserves. Did, yeah. Nani get it, yeah. Being underground is not a sin. Mimi mm. nilikuwa underground hadi saa hii bado kuna wase wanasema nga yo kifu 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 manzi is an underground artist. Being underground is not a sin. I know a lot of underground artists who make more money than commercial or, or sorry than mainstream artists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So underground is not a genre. People mm. are fucking stupid manze. Underground is not a genre. Underground is a situation. You it's, get it's, yeah. yeah. The music too in bado haija get the recognition. Like that's what you know, get. Cuz yeah. Mick Mill been making the same shit since he was underground and now mm. he's a mainstream artist. Yeah. You know, you get mm. Bob Marley ni one of the most commercial artists in the world. Ama ni aje. Yeah. But kuna time ni alikonga underground. When 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 kuna time he, his music wasn't <laughs> getting, wasn't played, getting in Jamaica played in Jamaica until his home. fans were like uh, yeah. Get, so yeah. so underground is not to be confused with hardcore. Guys uh <laughs> guys mm-hmm. guys don't get it. Mm-hmm. Let me get mm-hmm. hardcore. There's hardcore rap. Mm-hmm. Hardcore in a manisha manze ni for the core hip hop supporters. Yeah. I don't like mean it's some, I'm, I, I don't and... mean that it's some dark ugly aggressive shit. That's not what I mean. Mm-hmm. Hardcore rap ni the rap that adheres to, to the, the core values of the like pop culture. Head, yes. It could be commercial as shit. Let me get. Mm-hmm. Got yourself a gun. I got mine. I hope you mm-hmm. you, you, you get it. Mm-hmm. That's a hardcore record. Mm-hmm. But it's commercial as fuck. You go number one on the billboard. I'm an mm-hmm. But it's hardcore as shit. Got gotcha. you. Let me get. So yeah. people, especially all my hip hop heads in the world, wanna wanna, wanna misconstrue it sometimes. Yeah. Wanna fanya. The guys who don't understand the culture wanna fikiria ni evi while ni vile. Yeah. So it's it's nothing like that man. Yeah. It's nothing like that. Underground is not a genre. It's just it's just like it's just <laughs> placement. It's like give yourself time, give yourself years, exactly, put in the work and you know mm-hmm. you're going to achieve that mainstream success if that's what you want. Exactly. But I think like things that um kind of switching up is like right now there's a little bit of money in the underground scene yeah. like we still want to get paid you know at the kukwetu thing you was there wakadinale were there you know like Facts. the lineup was looking good Facts. it was a kenyan hip hop it was it was almost like it was a kenyan hip hop event steph capella was there um shoe kid you know so i feel like right now um kumekuwa na distribution kiasi like there's a, a little light shining on what's happening on those who are bubbling under yeah. i don't know i guess to me back to kiasi to cross over into so where the, the big bags is that yeah the thing. most guys don't understand one thing one thing mm. especially like uh let me just say like most of our fans mm-hmm. they need to know one thing one thing mm-hmm. it's really difficult to be a hip hop artist mm-hmm. Facts. No, this no is cap. It's true. Get, like it's true. It, it's fucking hard. Yeah. Being a hip hop artist, because kuna like thousands of hip hop artists. Mm. I think like countrywide, like there's thousands. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And all these guys kuna like <laughs> how many hip hop shows are there? Yo. <laughs> Hold on. Yo. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> How many hip hop shows are there? Fact. Like besides yours, Mine is like a count like on one I know, hand. I know. I know. When you get I know. Like count on one and hand. And some of those When you get. So here's the thing. Mm. You know most mainstream artists, mm. I mean most uh artists when you want to try to do commercial music. Mm. How we do in the hopes of they'll get some airplay cuz mm. that's what that's what plays you want. on 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 mainstream media. Yeah. That's what mainstream media wants. So yeah. Most artists I can get in the game with that commercial mindset mm-hmm. and I can get some sort of hope some 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 sort of expectation that me if if I play my cards right 
it, it might be easy for me mm-hmm. to get on mainstream media. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm-hmm. here's the thing with hip hop artists. Mm-hmm. Hip hop art, art, artists like you have to be a different kind of resilient to do this mm-hmm. and get cuz mm-hmm. number one you are pretty sure that your song will never ever get any airplay on any station. Mm-hmm. When you get mm-hmm. you know mindset in Kenya and Ghana go to every time. Mm-hmm. Number two, you have to beat the odds and fight for everything that you're going to get yani tooth and nail yani there's mm-hmm. no hip hop artist in Kenya when you go recognize when you say unajua huyu ni K-Force huyu ni Kali huyu ni King Kaka mwenye manzee alikuwa play star hapo hivyo mm let me get but you i can show you yeah, like, for yeah, that yeah, shit. like i can show you a lot of guys when you, they just woke up and found themselves somewhere mm. <laughs> let me get i can show you a lot i know i'm in the game mm. let me get but there's no hip hop artist when you ako when you what mentioning when you anyone yani there's no hip hop artists with a thousand fans in Kenya when you just fight for your shit yeah mm. let me get mm. so hip hop artists are a different kind of resilient and that's why unapatanga the guys that get into depression first amongst artists in akonga the hip hop artists because unajua even if you're not getting paid yeah but there's hope for you yeah when you get yeah. it, it kind of gives you like some energy yeah you have going. some strength when to fight mm. eh, kama 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 for example i know a lot of the guys who do the gangster mm-hmm. i know for a fact some of them they are started my friends. off <coughs> as rappers yeah, some as of them are my friends not mm-hmm. even that mm-hmm. i know they don't get paid mm-hmm. when you get mm-hmm. i know guys are making their life difficult some of them are my, my young homies man say I only am their problems na zile leo mm. but at least i can hope and join yaje my music at least ikona 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 fan base already na unanga on my youtube then if you mm-hmm. and i jua for a fact that ni yaje if i keep pushing maybe i can get something out of this but here's this guy mm-hmm. who already msha brand ngoma zake like ah is this commercial bro you can't dance from morning to morning but Yes. Even when the DJs are doing their sets there's a, like kuna kwanga na genre so ko ivo yeah man yeah so the the like when you see a hip hop artist when you do his thing man say the best thing you can do yani is just support that guy in what whichever way you can in whichever way I make a request mm. just support this guy because mm. he's doing it on his own man and you get there's yeah. no label in Kenya that's looking for a hip hop artist yeah when you get yeah, guys like us yeah, like fuck a label man say at me i don't want like i mean we see how, how labels yeah. have been fucking plus people. plus right now maybe label my junior is and sign na see ya maju flani do when you get but right now don't matter anyone that's looking for new talent and i find home to here and i say hey home to here and i bamba you to be honest i swear me ngo maza zero mini kisikiza kitambo alikonga like a rapper when you get so they find you then they turn you into some commercial yeah and you get and then the worst thing is that they don't pay you man mm. when you get you know you so you've compromised yeah, you, your yeah, craft you rather, and you still yeah, not getting you, you, that you, you, yeah you'd rather compromise my my values and my craft but at least let me make you my get rent. me paid mm-hmm. when you get kuliko unani unani expose unani unani fanya na na sahau kenye nilianza kufanya and then you just I saw Zero's interview on on Nani's show. Uh, Nani. On Nani's show. Mm-hmm. It made me feel some type of way, man. I didn't watch it yet. What happened? You should watch it, man. You should watch it. No, just get it from the horse's mouth, okay? Nani. Don't get it from me. Okay. Just just check it out for yourself. Alright. But Joe Manzejo, niggas out here ain't playing, man. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna check and, it. And it's, and it's not the right move, man. We're supposed to be building, man. Mm. So, atako ira. Atako ira bietu. If you like, just just support the damn thing. Watch it as in hip hop politics, yani. Imekuwa ni mingi. Ndio maana hata kinaondoa liko kana sio hip hop parliament. Siasa. Mimi <laughs> get juu hip hop ya Kenya kuna siasa sana, <laughs> man. I feel like politics, I feel, yeah, too many people talk about it and I'm yeah, not about it. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. that's just a problem. I was speaking on this hustler hustler or hustling for these a thousand fans you know any kenyan hip hop artist or rapper getting their worth 
by hustling to it do you feel like sai kukona that hustler hustler culture in in kenyan hip hop bado cuz like you back in the day you were slanging tapes you know everywhere you were going you were selling that shit do you think these young artists are still hungry for it like that no you just brought up a very 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 weird point eh? mm-hmm. that I was discussing with like one of my producers the other day mm-hmm. and but mm-hmm. uh but like us when we were rapping a while back mm-hmm. about 2012 13 and get mm-hmm. a lot of guys like were like everything wasn't as readily available as it is right now mm-hmm. when you get mm. right now if i was an artist then but like if i was a younger artist right now i can get ruby's number you hear her up yo listen mo mbeni aje ruby manze yo i got fire manze i got fire yo like me gonna some fire for me yeah when you get right now it's easier for guys cuz they can when you get and as i can connect now when you say when you know to support and as a and as a walk into a studio as in my name is so so man they do this man they like this and then you see on the internet mm-hmm. when you get it may make it may make you you around the mwenda you make one when you get so you you can be aggressive or you can be lazy as well when you pata so that uh is of production and the whole maneuvering of the industry has made a lot of guys become lazy. Mm-hmm. Let me get. Juliana Jonganiaje as in the post to you in Boyangu as to kona my fans tutapata 1 million views. Let me get. So hapo hivyo hustle na lost ya hapo katikati tu. Let me get. Najua kwa nini? Because hizo 1 million views zinaanza kukuget ya free songs. Let me get you get free productions from studios. Kay for sana yeah. kuganiaje comes to the angle manze fanya hizi ngoma zako ni kali when you get mm-hmm. so hustle yako inaenda down you get start getting free videos mm-hmm. when you get mm-hmm. hustle mm-hmm. yako inaendelea tu ikienda down mm-hmm. cuz you have the numbers the the the, the assumed numbers up with youtube nini kuna ma followers a couple ma dem nini hiyo inafanya unasahau that you need to exist in another world as well you already exist in, 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 in the artistic world mm-hmm. you need to exist in the streets as well mm. and get kuna watu wenye maana wanakula ma views hapa but wako mtaani tu wanavuta mangwai and get pesa hizi kukukamia yenyewe mm. you feel yeah. you can be 27 28 na bado unasema unajua si ni wa young man zee sasa man zee wase wana tukazia man nigga mm-hmm. <laughs> i moved yes. from my mom's when i was 18 or 19 <laughs> when you pata huko 27 bado unasema wanatukazia bwana wanataki kucheza ngoma zetu bra get out there get out there clean up get out there alafu hii mambo ya manager hii oh manze you know yeah, manager wangu manze alisema bro if this nigga is not getting you paid mm. he's not your manager manze mm. when you get I'm not saying your manager is supposed to get you paid. Your craft is supposed to get you paid. But this nigga is supposed to put you in the right place. The man is supposed to be able to sell this craft get. to get you paid. So, as long as um say hana value kwa career yako, let that nigga go and try it yourself. Mimi manze the moment I felt comfortable enough to walk into any room yani and speak what I need to speak and get the desired results. Hapo ndo mwali nilianza ku enjoy Kenya na do cuz ilinipatia a, a, a certain amount of confidence but unapata niaje this young homie akona akona millions and millions of views but akona zero people skills mm. <laughs> when you get yeah. like all this all, all this shit that he does inafanywa na, na na somebody else on his behalf i'm not saying it's wrong mm. but see try and be around that somebody and get that way learn, yeah, yeah. learn, learn some shit ndo badai usisemi manzee wase wana tumangia because for if things don't change it's going to like end in premium tears yeah when you get nitakuwa yeah. mbaya sana if 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 we just let like if we don't do anything about it yeah when you mm. get and this is not just hip hop yeah. this is this is just for 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 
for any young guy or girl out there that's trying to do his thing and say if you don't mm. try and as in the only way you can be successful is if you do what you're not good at you know that Whoa. you need to do what you're not good at oh okay I'm and hearing get. you. Uh-huh. So you figure it out. You know what you're not good I, at. I, I hear what you're yeah. saying. So you what you're good at, we already know you for it. How many are they? Yeah. Yeah, we already know you for what you're good at. So the only way you're gonna have an edge over anyone else is if you it's do what you're, you're not good at. It's also if you're if you're at. good at the bad things. Uh, when you get try and do what you're not good at, if you don't stand out, you mean manze miss do manager wa Julian? Yo. It's Jay Meat. It's Jay Meat manager Juliani. Yo. But Juliani one of our biggest artists man say. Mm. Yeah. Feel? yeah. Like okay, maybe he's there, but Juliani has never told me like Niaje bro. Yo, that's my manager right yeah, there man yeah, say talk yeah. to that nigga. Let me get. See Jay can meet. And the reason I've never met him is cuz any time I meet Juliani man say he look like he's the boss. Mm. Let me get. He look like he's in charge. Mm. Cuz he is in charge. Handle your shit. <laughs> Handle your shit. Cuz he is in charge. So yeah. Juliani early yeah, ali step out of comfort zone yake akafanya Kenya yuko good at. He was already good at rapping. Mm-hmm. He just tried to be good at those other corporate things. Mm. And again, and the fact that he had some good mentorship and like a, a, a godfather that was like watching out for him yeah. yeah and also a god yeah. <laughs> that was watching God out for him back there. yeah man so you you have to do something extra yeah come on and take get anything extra okay okay switch up real quick to manga story juliani nika kumka story octo what's the problem fam is that a problem I, you tell me i don't know i don't know what's the if problem, there's, like, a problem if there's a problem if there's a problem maybe more other people uh, other people know it more than me do killer mali muenda no 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 but listen no for real let me listen though, okay let me finish finish then i'm a i'm a rebuttal every place in yemi wenda muli zo yeso ya kifala like man it, it, it's really dumb because mm-hmm. once you expect a, a a a a place to be rep by one person that's a really backward outlook man mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. when you get mm-hmm. it's, it's 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 like me saying yaje it's ruby, like ruby manze manze it we manze na dj zack kwani mnakonga aje kwani kuna konga na issue gani manze mm. just cuz you do the same thing doesn't mean you like have to be a logger head you know what i mean yeah maybe so you ain't got no beef yeah, maybe maybe i don't know maybe yeah shay am am say kuna beef mahali yeah. so people are trying to clarify but but i've but, seen you trolling him on facebook fam what did i say um how do you write his name Octopusa? Octo. Eh. Come on. Nah, nigga, I see you like literally everybody. Oh, see you jokes. So so you're saying right now on the record there is there's, absolutely there's no zero problem. beef, man. Z. Wait, where did what do you think like that whole notion started from because i think there was a time actually on yeah. hip hop culture he yeah. came through and he said something and then you said something you remember that time you were remember. dropping you were oh, dropping our record yeah, and then he yeah, said you yeah, were doing yeah. kabuka no, 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 and then no, 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 no. some shit I like think, that i think i think mm. he said mm. that huh? he said that a record that was dropping was whack i don't remember mm. which record no mm. niget akasema it's like sidwi eh, naz Jay-Z. Uh, uh, oh yeah, he said it's like Jay-Z coming doing to, sa- like, doing a song with Lil Yadi or Uzi somebody. Vert. He said Uzi Vert or whatever. Mhm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that's that's nothing to be for over. Uh-huh. I just said like the only thing in your mind is when you you need preference yake. Let me get. Yeah, kama 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 like you need opinion yake. Let me get. I I just but I in the same breath I also said uh it's very funny to have an opinion on my music when that's the kind of shit you make when you get mm-hmm. mean as i take like opinion guy you from no kenyan rapper man when you get mm. so i just that's that's come on man that's so like, like no that's like breakfast there's nothing to remember man mm, ain't no beef. <laughs> there's, ain't no no beef. Beef there's no beef at all there's no beef unless mm. unless mm-hmm. there's something that i don't know yenye wote niambia but i don't beef man say i don't beef beef is for kids but i'm 
Cave or Cave Force, uh-huh. and then he features on the album Favela. Uh-huh. How did you first of all pick and choose um, the artists that were going to feature on the album? Uh, it's, it's simple, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of guys were telling me, "Zaman Zain, bono kweka king kaka, bono kweka sji, topizo, ama whoever the fuck, yani." Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, eh? mm-hmm. uh, those guys don't have anything else to say in my opinion mm. like they've been speaking to their fans for long uh, plus they have all the exposure in the world when it gets so it might not be it's good for my brand and get it's it's, it's 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 good for my brand it's perfect for my brand but it's kind of pointless because already our kona my fans or kona say well when if you mean kona taka wase wengine wenye wabongangi na nyinyi wabongi na nyinyi you know feel mm-hmm. eh yeah. you gonna feel like if 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 i if i need guys to speak and 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 try to get on the same page with me mm. it it has to be guys who who i feel like they represent kind of like what 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 i was growing up to be and mm. and get mm. Mimi si kwa like commercially accepted na the media when you get I had to do my own thing figure my own shit out mm. when you get so I, I kind of feel like these guys are in the same space that I was back in the day from their mentality but most importantly from the, the way music, they construct okay. their, 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 their their music and, mm. and, and the mindset that they have when they're you know writing whatever they, it is that they do plus mm ni wase wenye wako commercial kama mimi wanafanya that commercial rap like me when you get kesho naweza kaamka ni do album ya gengetoni yote na kuna kitu mtanifanya nda i record and you do nothing because yeah you, you will do nothing because yeah this music is never that serious man i'm on ya just kaspa ni ado proper Yo. Mm, but you know nanga sa zingine ana drop some zulu shit and you know what the fuck is this but that album was yeah, but as well. <laughs> I know, I feel you. Yeah, see aka is he still fire he still does yeah. the pop shit too yeah, yeah. 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 come I on man say nani nani mnoma hapa kenya kuliko stogi t bana hakuna ba stogi au che making trap records with First with that freestyle friday though what the fuck ulikuwa mema anitea mwisho eh stogi stogi out che making commercial records with yeah. With, with with the young cats who yeah. are doing that commercial rap speaking of yeah. stogie now let's talk about that freestyle friday <laughs> what do you need to know yo listen first nika was say when your day was all come member was rap with the cake and rap ama what the fuck happened cuz literally when i saw the lineup was like aka who else was on there aka mm-hmm. uh, stogie t mm-hmm. who the fuck else then there was some You know, it was some fire guys though some some guy from Zambia or some shit the fuck like out of that beat man so here's the thing mm-hmm. blazer ni nipige kanuliza niaje ebu enda u check ni ni esto giti is on my freestyle uh, friday uh, mm-hmm. and see if you can submit something from like this side of the continent ni 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 so mini kamombia manze nda kadona nianze kufanya tena ma freestyles ji ma cyphers ji no for real like ni kwa like na man Mm. fuck a cipher man but here's the thing eh? mm-hmm. i didn't know the the campaign that nani stogie had yeah. when he get yeah. so me nika ikabidi ni mengi kwa profile yake nika check mm. then nika ona ni aje this is something that could fuck with mm. so um who did i see who did i see I saw hollow the dawn man they mm. I saw hollow the dawn mm. on it but I can't call like what yeah <laughs> me too me <laughs> not get <laughs> hey cuz man they me I'm a, 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 a group yeah, yeah. so we don't hollow the dawn like 
Yo, I could I could rap better than this shit, man. So this guy be killing on TV, but he never. Mm. So when he come to Blaze, he had to do see see uh, see if you can pull strings, cause I'm not trying to go into niggas DMs. I know, and shit, you know I know. Get. So Blaze, I can call. Come on, Benny Haji, K Force, Nini, Nini. You went and checked out my other freestyles and then gonna upload go IG. So I can on Benny Haji. Sent they sent me the beat. Actually, I recorded twice mm. on that shit, man. Mm-hmm. So that's the sad part. Why? What happened? I recorded on the f- like on the on one Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't they didn't post that. The one that we were waiting for. Then it yeah, didn't happen. Yeah, that one, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess Doggy's team and whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they confused my beat to mm-hmm. So So when you didn't even record then, I wasn't feeling like you know. Mm. But I just did, mm-hmm. and to be honest, man, the guys in SA showed me so much love, yeah. Baka yeah. nilikuwa like, yo, man, yo, we, we need, we need, we need to, to to show that kind of appreciation for Kenyan hip hop because wale ni wase wani juu, ya wajua taka natoka kibera, wanigia, tama vinyo wame nominate Kali, BT, they know, they know it's from Kayole, they don't give a fuck, man, say how hard you are. They just wanna hear some shit. Yeah. Some good shit. Yeah. So it was an honor, man, because me I grew up listening to Stogie T. Yo, man, and that's an thing, icon my, right my, there. My uncles used mm. to listen to Stogie T when I didn't know who the fuck that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the volumes. Mm-hmm. Never had I an the album. I think the volume, yeah. Mm. So to me, I think uh, uh, Stogie T now was the rapper. He was the, now to me. Then I think the band was called The Volume or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah. Kind of like what Nafsi yeah. Hulu does with the um, Swahili jazz band. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something <coughs> so, like that. So, Manze, I never thought, Manze, because like, I, I, I didn't know that I'd clean up, aka. <laughs> Yo, fam. <laughs> it was easy. Like, it was a walk in the but park. South Africans was in there like, Yo. Yo, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't have to do him like that. You ain't have yeah, to do but, that. But but I, I loved I loved the fact that I I, I got to be with AKA and, yeah. and Stogie on the same song and and uh, like on the same uh, campaign. Yeah. And 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 all those dope African rappers when you go up and they really make me feel in some type of way. That's fine. Get, because yeah. mm-hmm. you know. Like hip hop doesn't have a large following in Kenya. Mm-hmm. When you get me, this is cut his head, no maybe. It's kind oh, of bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But here, we're still trying to grow it, man. It's 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 a whole lot of cock blocking, but yeah. you know, we'll, still we'll, out we'll here. Get in there. Still out it here. It happen. It happen. It happen. Yeah. All right. So the scene right now, you've talked about wanting to give um, new rappers like a space on your album. Akina High Renaissance, Breda, Butros, Waku, Kevin Grant. I think those are. Mr. Kefo. Asam. Asam, of course. Yo, first of all. Yeah. Mr. Kefo. <laughs> like um, yeah, that was that was fire. What 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 do you think of the scene right now? Like do you think we're moving towards that direction where hip hop will actually be a thing that people pay attention to? Let's just be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hip hop we must save Kenyan music right now. Man. I know I know it's a lot of guys who are doing other genres and yeah. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But let's just be honest. It's Monday. facts. For hip hop to be where it is without any media support, Manze, don't look down, Manze. Yeah. In fact, if uh, any hip hop artist in Kenya who's worth his salt, Yanni, and I forgot to walk with his chin up because we do this shit by ourselves, Manze. See what you find easy to sort it out. Manze, what you do, baby? I couldn't do what you to support, Yanni. Yeah. Manze, yeah. so besides the 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 few fans when you're not out there, Manze, dying with us, Yanni, Manze, I call like Niaje. Ah, uh, give this gift to my cousin, bro. Mm. Like besides those guys, our support system should be us now. Mm. When you get yeah. hip hop is is rebellious by nature in yes. every culture, Everywhere. in every country, in every country. Mm. Yeah, but the reason that hip hop prevails is because hip hop is there for hip hop. Mm. When you get, what's mm. one like they have each other's It's like a unit, yeah. Yes, mwanga li ata TZ, msianga li mbali, but hapa Nairobi, bra, wacha ata Kenya mzima. Yeah. Just here in the city, man. Yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Everybody beefing with everybody. Mina kombe manze when I was coming up. Mm. That's why you know nangawato hiwa kini tisha kolabo muwa pepe, watasinanga ishu. When I was coming up, 
you call a nigga mbeni aje manze mm. so and so manze na toka mali flani manze i kind of feel like nyaje mm. like like ile twa takusikize tu like nyaje you think you can no, give me a time. ear or some shit like mm-hmm. that let's just be honest manze i've heard a thousand interviews from all our ogs what dumbo wale miss mm. joy is game say all the people pops manze it's like it's like be. it's like it's like we're not worth it yani mm. when you get like our older uh, my, 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 my older bros way to they never instilled the brotherhood in us when you get yeah alikuwa kienda interview ndio anajua kuna kfos pale ndio anajua kuna utopizo pale ndio anajua kuna calligraph pale but these niggas walingojea to do our thing by ourselves to go what we are no i'm saying and i'm saying yeah they by the way man say yo my nigga una ni get like I swear to God man say oh my mama no one ever held my hand like I'm being here bro check you moving like this but you move faster for longer if you moved like this when you get nil go man say I I have to learn from my my own mistakes man say when you get and maybe from watching guys fuck up <laughs> and that's what we're trying to do with the new school yeah, generation yeah. is like so so we need show we, up for we, each we, other and all that yeah we need mm. No no jo si si lazima rubi tuko ma beshte ndo ndo ni support ya. Na ni get si lazima tuko ma beshte ndo 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 ni ni try ku reach out yani. Na ni get me if like on my mama manze akuna rapa hii na Nairobi mwenye anaweza kuwa na anything negative kusema juu yangu. Mm. Me reach out to everybody all these trap and ass niggas all these hardcore rappers manze me manze all these niggas is my niggas manze me shit akina trouble ni my niggas mm. on some different shit mm-hmm. akina akina fucking kevin grants ni my niggas or go on some different shit like fucking adf yeah them is my niggas on some different shit akina akina on the project um i gonna swahili black their new album out black eh, antidote uh, black swahili yeah, yeah. yeah black swahili them is my niggas man they romi real nigger genetic yeah. real nigger when you get them is all my niggas me i don't see the genre i just see rap niggas yeah. man say yeah. but what say man say ah like, yeah. see bana uska la moto so what to support bana yeah. ah man say yo them niggas is not butros so yeah. fuck them niggas now nah, man me i don't see the genre i just see a bunch yeah. of rap niggas who trying to she, push the culture she, you she, know she, yeah, she can't yeah, yeah. who wanna push from who yeah. who wanna push from who cuz it's the same shit true it's the same shit it's, it's like your mom the struggle is also yeah. the same across exactly. it's not like other niggas have it exactly. easier than it's, other niggas it's, it's like your mom likes your bro more <laughs> oh your sis more <laughs> they all they yeah, all it's all hip hop yeah. 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 it's all hip hop akuna nye akuna nye na bamba kuliko Yeah. Struggles are the same facts. Boom. Facts. Speaking of rappers to watch in the scene right now, who you who you, who would you say that definitely um say kuna place and 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 afa? Tony Bamba. Mhm. The Tony Bamba. Mhm. Mm, from this like, different spectrums of course. Uh I'm sorry to say but X-ray uni bamba X-ray king I'm a X-ray bondox X-ray bondox uni bamba sana uh-huh. I heard him on a hip hop beat back and call like mm? <laughs> okay uh-huh. not bad uh-huh. fucking reckless is mm-hmm. dope yeah uh, yeah those are guys manzeo wakikuwa nacho do properly pia kutuna some sort of discipline they're going to go far on this list of yours there's what there's one more guy i'm uh-huh. not done uh-huh. oh Le- okay leo king man say who no sister like the pops who yo that kid if i had a honey million i'd put that 90 on him i'd put 90 on him he think it would be your the one it would be your the tenfold yeah you know get leo king one cool is fucking yeah, yeah. as in insane yeah ni man say and yeah. i love the versatility when you get yeah Nampenda ju he is a hip hop artist and he does his hip hop shit on that gang tone. When you get now bado ina sound correct. Mm. When you feel so me personally manze I'd, I'd bet on those ones manze. Of course right. of course I also like Mbiki Mbiki people. Uh, this thing. Kamba boy. When you get Kamba boy being in versatile. Yeah. You'll note that I kind of like versatile niggas man. I see. I see your list is spread out. Yeah. Sir, so, speaking of this list, there's no female rapper on it. What are you saying about the yeah. female rap scene right now? 
the feeling of rapping is okay. I just okay feel, is not I feel, good. I, I just feel. Yeah, tell me. The 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 aggression is not as it should be, but I feel the like music they're is not fine. Pulling their the music weight. is fine. No, yeah. the music is fine. Yeah, it's just the aggression that is not even enough. Huh? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like you see, for example, this year, like there's so many projects by the fellas, like albums, mixtapes, EPs, yeah. and literally yeah. out of the whole entire rap scene, only like three chicks have dropped, no and it's like, bruv. Sad shit. And then these are the same people who are saying, um, I don't want to be called a female rapper. I just want to be called a rapper, and it's like Buddha. I just took some evil. It's like me saying Manzejo, I'm going to eat See? I am tall, six yeah. four. I mean, yeah, you are a female rapper. Literally. See, me just. Hey, it's guys. just like Your gender. Your feminism is not so good. Semi evil, semi evil. Alright, so we're we're heading into December. To my chance at campaigns, I have a Project Dogo. Project Dogo. Speaking speaking of female rappers, mm-hmm. I feel there's too few also. We are worth noting. Let's let's go. Yeah, give me, I give me some. Wako, wako, give me top three. Wako few. I'm not even top three. I'm not even like doing numbers mm. or positions. Mm. I'm just saying there's not enough of them for to you to be do talked top about. Three you know, like fire yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real. For okay, real. okay. I, I, we're konsa, we're konsa, we're konsa ni like a lady who listens to rap. Yeah. Do you think there's enough? Nah. Can you? Can I'd you, say. Can you I'd tell say. me ten Kenyan female rappers? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so. Groovy Joe, Silverstone Buzz, Monsky, Steph the Rapper, Tulia, uh, Boss Lady Shazi B, Tasha Shinik, Ladybird, Vero, and who else? Me miss my Ladybird. It's just my Ladybird. Sai, I'm even giving you a bruv. These rappers are out here. I just feel like they're not. The muscle is MC Sharon, Ecstatic, Petra, Trinale. So, so you see, that's like, that's like that's like ten females. Right? Those were those were fifteen. No, fifteen like of 10. them. Fifteen so of them. So I just feel thing. like that's, what's that's, our pool there is. That's that's not the problem. Mm. The problem is not even like okay, they could be many. Yeah. Might be right, I just feel uh, the skill. No, mm-hmm. the music is fine. Mm-hmm. The music is okay. Mm-hmm. There's no problem with the music. I just I just feel. The attitude is not right. Mm-hmm. Uh, some some ladies are rapping because mm. mm. you rap man. something you feel to and get like I feel the the attitude is still lacking. Kidogo. Like what's our what just define uh, why they wanted to you, rap? You already in the know first rap is hard already. Yeah. So think about a lady doing rap. So it's even Tougher, harder. Devin, and yeah, and definitely. You, and you know women and not as resilient okay i know be. about all that because yes. you're talking yeah, to yeah, a resilient yeah. ass motherfucker. no i'm talking about the rap <laughs> when you get the women who rap they might not know much about you know hanging in there and, and the hustle yo mm. it's like persistence on a, a thousand levels mm. so I was then asking, plus uh-huh. plus i heard mm-hmm. that producers and 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 and, and, and industry niggas give them hard time sometimes definitely so almost I don't know, literally not at our studio but in other studios this is factual. Even this so is factual I, i'm sorry to say that I, I, I i'm not part and parcel of that i don't know yeah. but i heard that that's one it's a the other thing that kind it's a of factual thing turns them away away yeah Oh yeah. Okay, I get it. Nani yao? Sunye mbinu Off air. Ase, ase ona ona sumbo a female. Off air. Off air. All right, we're going into December. Last year, you got to be a part of the first hip hop award show in history, in Kenyan history. He was presenting out there, and this year, I don't know, maybe you know, what's it called? Uh, Fadela gets a nomination for. Album of the year or something. We don't know. Of the century. We go see. <laughs> Awards news at this year, Pekake. What do you think? Well, how do you feel? Actually, by the way, I to Kubonga about this whole hip hop award show. What's your take on it? She you just, was there. She just put yourself on the back and keep it moving. You, you did an awesome job. Update Kakwana. Any other hip hop awards? When you get like in, in Kenyan music. So the fact that you did it in itself. Is a step in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if, you think it's if, a necessary if, move? Yeah, 
It's, it's necessary to acknowledge and appreciate the practitioners Manze, of the arts. We do that with sports all the time, why not with the arts? You think the awards could help in making our hip-hop scene now more commercial? Considering there were 19 categories for the first one and they're only gonna go growing. It's 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 already commercial enough. Yeah. We, we just need to speak with one voice and everyone will hear us because if everyone is shouting from where they're shouting from, it's just noise. Yeah. And so if, if, if we try and, and, and speak with one voice, guys might, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we were walking into the session where you were talking about um, Sniper Jiganji, he passed away last year, right? About one last, last year. year. about one? Yeah. Kanta is the one who passed away last year. Damn, but Sniper, okay, getting into the game again when I was still in college before I even knew nothing about Kenyan hip hop, almost every track had a Sniper Jiganji tag on it. And I know. Tell me, um, I know you got to interact with Sniper, mm-hmm. rest in peace. Okay, Yo, that was that was an icon. Tell me, tell me one of your fondest memories with Sniper. Hey bro, like every, every I said one of them. Every 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 moment with Sniper was just awesome, man. I got a bigger sniper. Yeah. Like he used to look out for us, man. Say, when other studios were gonna try to charge an arm and a leg, man. Say, mm-hmm. Yeah, got one to support. Yeah. Yo man. Sniper sniper was just the realest nigga, man. Say. It was, it's it's not many real niggas like out here who are like honest. And, 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 and true to self, yeah. So he helped a lot of guys, man. Say. From yeah. me, uh, Kali Girl, yeah. Taste the Dawn. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, it was. It was bro, it was. Like, all, literally half the qua, game. It was qua, like, it was like, see what a clue, yeah. yeah man, say. So, yeah, man. Yeah. It's life, man. Say. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you grow older, is is like you know when I was younger, mm-hmm. I didn't know anyone like who died like close to me. <laughs> like I didn't know like what I didn't know her much, man. Yeah, but yeah. once you, you you start growing older, I'm saying me saying if got thirty man, I know a couple of my niggas man say, who are gone. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah. So I know. I have a different like perspective on on on. on on how this on life loss? should be, and yeah. what's your perspective on it? Man, it happens, man. It happens. It happens. It happens. I, I can't. I can't. I can't explain how other people would feel, but personally, yeah, I think it's one of the worst things in your life. I know. I, I, like most times, I don't even know what to say, and so I feel like just the finality of it just like irks me out it's like that is the final 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 thing yeah. like you ain't never gonna hear this person's voice or whatever uh-huh. that is just uh, strange all right second last question the album that you had teased to us was the last statement for the line of talk happy see ruby after us as a book some some like some shoes. Mm-hmm. You get. Mm-hmm. Can't you change the shoes? You can change the shoes, but not with an album. Not with something. First of all, I'm you can. yo, listen, after you had teased this album, like this last statement, you started teasing it in like November of last year or something. Mm-hmm. And then you said, I'm gonna drop the album in May, right? So mm-hmm. May came and you're like we're in the mastering stages, whatever, whatever, and then we're in what month? September. Uh-huh. Favela. No, finally, like the album is now so called Favela. Okay. Yeah. Since we insist, watch and convey uh-uh. the truth. Since we insist, I'm not always as well. Since we come on. Nilko, Nilko, not to come here and raps, but since we insist, watch and convey. Niambe. Is the thing when COVID happened, mm-hmm. and yet mm-hmm. I couldn't make the music that I wanted the way that I wanted. Mm-hmm. And yet, mm-hmm. so that album has so many killer features. I was saying, 
I the last mean, statement uh, or no the statement the uh-huh. album uh-huh. when you saying the last oh since you want to listen then you <laughs> anyway like uh, the statement okay mm-hmm. you you could know say ngi sana when you have to get them in the studio and for your job mm-hmm. like i have to be with them at the studio mm-hmm. and so na kumbuka tu kulikuwa na ona so so distancing so the album oh, so you want to make the music with the people in the studio not send me your verse type situation Yeah. Okay. Man get yeah, but in Guinea mm. that's what I did. Okay. Man if you feel you cuz all my niggas are ready. Okay. Tunaongeanga now. Okay. At least we have some some sort of rapport and but it would be very weird if 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 if, if, I, if I just hit up Wiley in Mombian send the verse. Mm. Man get. Got you. Uh, it, it, it would be really weird if i hit up jokali and told him ni aje bro she got beat oh, of course you guys won't know it yeah. don't matter because yeah. you don't know but yeah. i know me i, I won't feel like this is 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 organic in gotcha. enough gotcha when you get so it's just that covid happened and i had to adapt to the gotcha. new situation so no got gimbo you know new normal <laughs> so there's a there's a, another project somewhere maybe in the works um, So the mm-hmm. thing is mm-hmm. Wacha kwanza watu wa enjoy fadela. Yes. Sikuwe kwa Kenya. Mimi ndio me drop. Mimi ndio me drop last week. Uko <laughs> like so so the next album. Mimi ndio just mm-hmm. drip to pata na wapi? I just the, the, the next week still. You know you know when I want to tell niggas I want to tell niggas like you heard it here first like <laughs> I, I broke news. Y'all heard that shit. I been new, you know? Yeah. All right. Give me the one rapper who did it who made you feel like you could also do the same thing. You get it, man. That okay. You get it the truth, man. You get it the motherfucking truth. Me me come from the hood, man. Me see the rap kutoka Kilimani ama Mudaika or whatever. Me get. Me me rap kutoka Mtaani. Joni is a representation of all of us, man. Me get. Yeah, like when I come to Ani, the greatest like, of all time. Yeah. Okay. Like facts, no cap, yeah, any other like shit, man. Say. Okay. Like no cap. So he's he's the 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 So since as we were broke and we were from the hood you got know now what yo this nigga from the slum like us man say this nigga ana to put on man say ana to put out there man say like his pops wasn't rich his mom's wasn't rich yeah. you know get like he didn't have connections his uncle didn't have a studio like mm. he, he has uh, yeah, and then it's not even about sometimes what he says it's how he says mm. and you get junior is aka kwambia niaje Manze I like what you doing but the way he says it mm. is not the way anyone else is going to say it and you get Daniel is like a copy manze fuck you but the way he'll say it is not the way another person is going to say it so he 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 spoke to us in 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 a language in my language manze anyone mwenye na rap ana kwa mtaani atakwambia tu hivyo manze tutashinda hapo tukibisha na mpaka jioni but that's just what it gotcha. is Got you. All right. What would you want to say to young artists, creatives, anybody who's listening to this podcast who has been inspired by the Cable Cable Yo, journey? Do what you love, man, and love what you do. But above all, try and do something that you're not good at that pertains to what you're good at. And get mm. yes, you'll be fine, man. Say in a life, twice guy could teach and threats. That's life. Life, life has, like life has a way of just figuring itself out. Don't let anyone put any pressure on you to do what you don't want. It doesn't matter if it's music or not. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, also don't 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 be ignorant. Any matter, you don't know everything. Neither do I. Mm-hmm. Neither do you. Yeah. So just do what you do. And, and be the best at it, young. You, 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 you
And as usual, you're welcome to share your comments, your thoughts, your feedback, whether you agree or disagree with the sentiments on this podcast. And how you can do that is at Just Ruby V. And also, if you like this content, make sure that you share it, share it, share it, share it. You can find this podcast on YouTube as well. And you can also find it on my Facebook page, Ruby V. So whichever medium you prefer to listen to this podcast, it's available for you. And of course, you can share with your friends as well.